hello traders welcome to my channel in this video i want to show you how you can analyze the market and predict next candlestick so let's start i'm going to place put option because i can see downtrend and the bearish engulfing so and again i think it broke this level it broke the level so seller will still enter again on the next candle So I'm going to place call option. I place call option because of this level. Because of this level. And the sellers are weak at this time. After the breakout, the sellers are weak. So buyers will enter again on the next candle. Okay, the next sellers area is here. I'm going to place call option. I place call option because of this new high and the bullish and coffee. The market reverse in the middle of the trend so there's it there's still a gap to this level so buyers will enter again on the next candle okay you can see the buyers entry You can see rejection from sellers. I'm going with buy as a gate. So I place call option because there's still a gap to this level. There's still a gap. So the buyers will feel the gap. Buyers will feel the gap. At least they will fall candle like this. At least at all candle like this. Either this candle or this candle. So they will feel the gap here because the next level of the next possible reversal is here. Okay, so I'll wait for the next candle because there's a jump. There's a jump. So let me see what's going on here. Okay, this is actually the level. Okay. So I'll wait for the next candle. Because there's a job you can see where the buyers opened here. So it's not good to rush or not to see markets. So I'm going to place put option. I place put option because the trend is down. 
and I'm seeing a bearish candle. So sellers will still enter again. So seller will still enter again, not the buyers. Because the trend also is downtrend. So I want to place my trade here, not here. Now the sellers enter. Okay, it's still close above my entry. Okay. So I'm going to place put option because it close above my entry and the level is still far. So seller will still enter the game. And again, this level I have drawn, it close below the level. So that this is a sign the seller will still enter the game. Sellers are going down very strongly. Okay, the next possible of reverse is here. Get already reverse. I'm going to place call option here. Okay, create entry. Okay, this is a level here. There's no much level. There's no enough uh, steady to place my trade. Okay, I need to place my trade in margin of safety. So I'm going to place put option here. I place put option because I can see very strong rejection from sellers. And then the trend also is downtrend, so sellers will enter again on the next candle. Okay, so finally, I took seven trades. One is OTM because it closed above my entry. The first trade I took here was because the trend is down and a strong seller's entry from the seller's area, so sellers will enter again on the next candle. Second trade was because of this buyer's area and the sellers are weak. So buyers will enter on the next candle. Third trade was because the sellers area is here and these buyers are very strong. Bullish engulfing with new high. So I'm expecting a buyer's entry but definitely a weak buyers. And third trade because the buyer will still enter again. So that's why I place call option because the sellers are here. Not here. Then the fifth trade, I lost this trade because of my entry and I missed this trade. So I lost the trade because of my entry. So and again, I place put option because the trend wants to go down. The trend is downtrend. So sellers want to go more down and this is a continuation sign of this downtrend. So and I place put option because I can see very strong rejection from sellers and the trend is downtrend. So sellers will enter. Okay. This is how you can predict next candlestick. So if you like my video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.